Mr. Rishikesh. Welcome to the Sustainable World Conclave 2024. Pleasure to be here. First of all, congratulations on your win tonight. Uh, what does this recognition mean to you and your organization? So, I think uh, a recognition from a reputed, uh, you know, publication like Business World is a matter of great pride. Um, and uh, we hope to keep winning every year and hope to keep uh, rising up the ranks and soon become India's most sustainable company. So, this gives us a lot of uh, momentum and impetus and also the recognition that we are on the right track in our uh, sustainability journey. So, thank you for this. All right. So, Mr. Rishikesh, if I ask you, can you please tell us how, uh, tell us about Dabur's commitment towards sustainability and the ESG goals? So, if you look at it uh, well before sustainability became a watch, you know, big buzzword in the industry, Dabur has been doing this for generations altogether by the way that we have protected Ayurvedic herbs, which form the core of our business. Uh, well before all these things were fashionable, we established two nurseries, one in India and one in Nepal to sustainability, sustainably grow these herbs uh, to give our, you know, to give the good quality uh, jadi booties for our customers and make the products that so many love. But now that a structured framework is in place to drive ESG and ESG related actions, our commitment starts right from the top. Uh, it's governed at the board level and then uh, driven by a chief sustainability officer. Uh, but one of the big things that we have done in our ESG journey is to set very clear, defined targets and deliverables for each functions. And that is driven uh, religiously with monthly reviews and uh, actions. Second thing is a lot of our sustainability related actions are not being done just for sustainability. They are being done because they also, along with sustainability, also give business benefits. And when there is both the things happening in parallel, the journey goes a whole lot faster. Uh, if I can give a simple example like a solar right it's solar is one of the things that you can do and fact is it's a double benefit a it gives you green energy and b it gives you cheaper energy yeah. so like that several actions that we have done in sustainability are repeatable and scalable and not just being done just to get a tick mark at the sustainability these are also giving a significant business benefits all right so my last question to you would be sustainability has been a concept around here in the market and it's the word right now so how should we, how a business should turn it from a concept to real progress? Right. Uh, I think it starts from the top in very clear vision setting and target setting. The moment we start treating sustainability as an essential part of day to day operations, it will become routine. The moment we start seeing as a plus one or some extra fitting to whatever I'm doing right now, it's not going to work. I think what we have managed in Dabur in the last few years that we've been aggressively going in this journey is to make sure it's a part of our day-to-day -day operations and that has helped in landing a lot of actions very quickly. All right. Thank you so much for your time, sir. It was Thank lovely you. talk.